Welcome back to Wheeler Scientific. This video will show how to produce benzoic acid from tiling. Benzoic acid is a useful chemical and an important intermediate for many chemicals. Benzoic acid is also used in a few pyrotechnics. One method of production of benzoic acid is by oxidizing tiling. The way tiling is oxidized involves using potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate is a powerful oxidizing agent and is commonly used in organic chemistry. First add 45 grams of potassium permanganate into the reaction vessel in which a stir bar is. Then add a solution of 2 grams of potassium hydroxide in 500 milliliters of water is then added to the flask. Next, 30 milliliters of tiolene. The tiolene is in stoichiometric excess. By adding excess tiolene, this will ensure that all the potassium permanganate will react. If there is any unreacted potassium permanganate that remains, it will be an impurity that will need another step to remove. That can be avoided simply by having an excess of tiolene. Due to tiolene's immiscibility in water, the reaction will occur where the two layers meet, but this will be extremely slow. One option is to stir vigorously. The other is to make sure to use a phase transfer catalyst. A phase transfer catalyst is miscible in both layers. Dual miscibility allows for the chemicals to mix and react. Many phase catalysts work for this reaction, but I will not be using a catalyst in this reaction as it's just another chance for impurities. So I'll be using the vigorous stirring method. Once all the chemicals are added to the reaction vessel, a condenser is connected. Then it is plumbed in, and water is passed through it. Proper stirring is crucial and in my experimentation, the yield will be meager without the proper stirring. We carry out the reaction at elevated temperatures with a reflux. The addition of a few boiling stones is unnecessary, but can be handy. Boiling stones will help prevent bumping in the solution during the reflux process. Bumping is a common occurrence in this reaction and should be watched for. If any bumping does occur, remove from heat, let it cool for a bit, and then begin heating slowly again. In this reaction, the potassium permanganate oxidizes tiling to benzoic acid. This benzoic acid is then depropanated in the hydroxide solution to form sodium benzoate. This reaction reduces the potassium permanganate into manganese dioxide. After a few hours of reflux, the solution has changed color from the bright gorgeous purple of potassium permanganate into a dull brown. The color change is due to the byproducts of manganese dioxide. Turn off the heat and let the solution cool till the boiling stops. Next, wait until it's cool enough to hold the vessel. The solution is then filtered. Potassium benzoate is very soluble in water. The filter paper will capture the manganese dioxide and let through the soluble benzoate. The manganese dioxide is then rinsed with water a few times.
In some cases, some manganese dioxide would pass through the filter and make it into the collection vessel. In this case, I would just run it back through a filter and collect those passed through manganese dioxide. Use a separation funnel to separate the aqueous layer from the toluene that is still present. Next, add hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid reacts with the potassium benzate to form the precipitate of benzoic acid. The precipitation is due to the lower solubility of benzoic acid, 3.44 grams per liter at 25 degrees Celsius, compared to potassium benzoate, 73.83 grams per 100 milliliter at 25 degrees Celsius. Adding HCl also reacts with the byproducts of potassium hydroxide to produce potassium chloride. The solution is then cooled in the fridge and then filtered once again. Once filtered, wash the crude with ice cold water. Due to the precipitation and washings, any soluble impurities that were there will be washed out from our pure product of benzoic acid. I left the vacuum pump on and moved the benzoic acid around on the plate to dry it as much as possible. After that, I dumped it out into a petri dish and threw it in the drying oven. After the drying process, we were left with our pure benzoic acid. The run yielded 11.9 grams of benzoic acid. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please drop a like. If you have any comments or questions, post those in the comments section below. If you want to see more of my content, please consider subscribing. 
And if you want to join a community of like-minded individuals that want to discuss scientific topics, my Discord link is in the description, and we have a wide variety of topics that we discuss there, from nuclear science to chemistry to physics to sometimes even mining uranium. I hope to see you again in my next video. Well, I don't know, but I've been told uranium ore's worth more than gold. I sold my cad, I bought me a jeep, I got that bug, and I can't sleep. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Uranium fever is spreading all.